before coming to LC, I never acted before in my life. So, I mean, but I just felt like my personality and my ability to just make people laugh and just make people smile, like, has gravitated me towards acting or just, like, towards performing. I took my first acting class my second semester of freshman year. I'm not going to lie, I definitely took it for the creative arts credit. But after that, I just kind of, like, fell in love with it or just, like, grew a strong interest for it. So I kind of wanted to take another one hopefully soon, but COVID happened and didn't allow it that next year. It opened my eyes to a lot of things. Um, the professor the professor was so easy to get along with. The professor was so just encouraging and motivating, even if you've never acted before in your life. But in, I'm not gonna lie, the class was so, so, so hard. It, was, it wasn't hard necessarily like the workload, it was just hard to be okay with the uncomfortable because being in front of somebody and acting was, was probably my biggest fear at first. So I had to work through that kind of like fright, um, which just opened my eyes and just kind of like allowed me to get better at public speaking and just being comfortable in front of people. So I appreciate it for that. Yeah, after COVID, I we got back and I definitely wanted to take acting too. Um, and that class was definitely more challenging. It was just more real, I would say. The, the class was tired acting to realism, so it was very more emotionally in-depth, emotionally just aware of ourselves and our bodies and our, and our voices, and that was another challenge for me. Um, but it's really made me secure with my emotions and my, my person, myself as a person, um, and not being afraid of who can who sees that side of me, so I've definitely appreciated that part. So this semester is completely different than anything I've done in acting so far. It's all Shakespeare, which is something I've never done. Um, definitely new to me, definitely challenging, but it's, it's really interesting, honestly, at the same time, because you're going to another world that people used to really speak like this, and we talk about all these different things, and a big part of Shakespeare is rhythm, and I feel like I can relate to that, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to work through that, use my rhythm, use my, my voice and my breath to kind of just engulf myself in the Shakespearean experience and it's it's really it's really tough but it's it's really rewarding at the same time just to see like your your work that you work so hard on just to actually see it come come to, come to life is, is really awesome. After acting one I definitely wanted to do more so acting two happened. I wanted to do more acting three and um, these professors that I've had over the time has just been motivating me and growing my confidence in, in the field of acting or in theater. So it pushed me to actually audition for a main stage this semester, um, that being Rent. Um, luckily, I actually did get the, did get a role in the play, which was so surprising and so like uplifting to me. Um, but unfortunately, with, with football and school and everything else, the time, time commitment was a little bit too much to bear right now for me. So I decided not to do it, but I'm really hoping that possibly do one in the spring, that'd be my goal. I, I didn't really know I had this passion before I got here, but with this passion now, I kind of want to possibly, maybe not pursue a full full time career, but I would definitely like to pursue and possibly be open to opportunities to audition for different roles in just the media somewhere. I mean, I'd be I'd love to be acting somewhere. Uh, that'd be awesome. But I'm just gonna keep pushing and keep working at it. Obviously, I would love to be in big big time movies and be the main star, the supporting roles or whatever, but. I've actually really loved seeing independent films and like especially I've seen a few from the Bay Area where, which I'm from just to show the real the real part of or real things that people really do not like actually see in the real time media just proper representation of people of color is something that I'm really really interested in um, and just I don't know I, I, I've also really always wanted to be like a comedic person on, on screen so that'd be a goal of mine as well.